Russia's war in Ukraine was unleashed after the UK published a major review of defence policy. With the conflict still raging, a new update says this carnage and Chinese aggression over Taiwan risk creating a world defined by disorder, a difficult and dangerous decade. The Foreign Secretary presented the findings to Parliament. Across the world, state threats have grown and systematic competition has intensified. There is a growing prospect of further deterioration in the coming years. It's prompted the government to announce almost £5 billion in extra money for defence over the next two years. But most of this, £3 billion, will be invested in the UK's nuclear-armed and nuclear-powered submarines. That leaves just £1.9 billion to replenish and grow stockpiles of ammunition. Sources say it's not enough, and the army alone needs an extra £3 billion a year to avoid more cuts. The new cash will lift defence spending to 2.25% of GDP by 2025, from just over 2% now, and there is a plan to increase this to 2.5%, but not a time frame. Publicly, the Ministry of Defence says it's delighted with the new settlement. But privately, the mood among some is dire. One source told me investing more money in nuclear submarines that come into service years from now while not fixing the army is an eccentric response to a war in Europe. With a poor track record for buying kit on budget and on time, the military isn't without blame. We're perhaps more, uh, uh, more devoted to getting the best possible system rather than the 90% solution. And for a middle-sized power with our sort of defence budget, that's just not appropriate. But the threat from Russia is now. Here, British troops train Ukrainian forces on their tanks. With the UK giving its weapons away, there's an urgent need to rearm and perhaps then reform. Deborah Haynes, Sky News.